Hi, I'm Joan. Today we're going to discuss the pedals on the piano. Now on an acoustic piano, there are three pedals like what's showing right here. On most electric pianos, there are three pedals as well. If you have a keyboard that has a pedal hook up that you can hook in, most of the time it is only one pedal and that is the sustain. Now we'll talk more about this in a little bit. Now, right now we're going to focus on the three pedals found on a piano. No matter if you have a grand piano or an upright, most modern pianos have three pedals. The pedal to the left right here. Let's see. The pedal to the left right here. There we go. That's called the soft pedal. Now, whenever you press the soft pedal, um, basically what happens, the pedal to the left, the soft pedal, it brings the hammers closest to the strings so that whenever you strike a key, it won't hit it so loudly. Thus, it brings the volume down. You can still play loudly, but it keeps everything soft so you wouldn't play as loudly as you could. So now the metal pedal right here, you can see that, okay? That's the sostenuto pedal in the middle. Basically this pedal, uh, it holds the tones that were already being held when you press the pedal. Now you can press any other keys while holding this pedal down, but it will not connect them. Now this brings us to the damper pedal or the pedal on the left, on the right, sorry, right there. Okay, the damper pedal is the pedal on the right and you always use your right foot on the damper pedal. You keep your heel on the floor and use your ankle like a hinge. This is the pedal that is used the most. While you are holding the damper pedal down, any tone you sound will continue after you release the key. It doesn't just hold the tone that was already being held. You can press keys and lift up on them and the damper pedal is still holding them. Okay, so let's discuss the pedals that you may find on a keyboard. I have had many keyboards over my years of playing the piano and some of them have had pedals and some have not. Now, if it doesn't have a pedal, it's pretty much like an organ to me. You have to hold the notes, hold the notes down to make them connect. Now, some keyboards have a pedal you can hook up to them. And this is like the damper pedal on the piano. It sustains the sound. Any tone you sound will continue after you release the key. Now, if you're looking into getting a keyboard, I would suggest getting one with a sustain pedal or a damper pedal. Um, now, if you are going to play the keyboard like an organ, then you probably won't need it. However, if you're going to play the keyboard like you would a piano, and especially if you're using that keyboard to learn to play the piano, I would definitely look into getting a pedal. When I was young, my parents decided to put me into piano lessons at the age of four. They got me an organ to practice on and that was horrible, but that's all we had. Then they finally bought me a keyboard. It was very limited due to the fact that it only had a few keys and no pedal. Finally, they bought me another keyboard and it was okay sized. It wasn't full size, but it did have a pedal. I could finally practice with a pedal. So if you're buying a keyboard and are going to learn to play on it, get a pedal. Or you, if you already have a keyboard that doesn't have a pedal on it, um, you can usually purchase one at like Guitar Center or maybe even Amazon. Um, but that's all I have for today. I hope this has helped you. If it did, just click the like and subscribe button and I'll see you soon.